Hi, thank you for visiting Zariva.com's Tech Tips. In this video, we will be demonstrating how to reset a Cisco 3750G 48TS-E switch to the factory default settings. First, make sure you have TerraTerm or HyperTerm open on the computer you'll use to console into the switch with. Second, we'll need to insert the console cable into the console port on the back of the switch. The third step will require us to hold down the mode button on the front left bottom of the switch. While continuing to hold the mode button, insert the power cable in the rear of the switch. We will continue to hold the mode button until the system LED light stops blinking and no LEDs are lit. At this time, release the mode button. You'll see on the screen that the system has booted and is ready for commands. We will now need to initialize the flash on the switch. To do this, type flash underscore INIT and press enter. Next we'll need to pull the directory of the flash. To do this, type DIR spacebar flash colon and press enter. Now, any files on the switch, including the iOS, will be listed. The iOS will have the model number of the switch as part of its name. Be sure not to remove this file. Removing it will delete the operating system from the switch. At this time, we'll begin removing all files except the iOS. Type delete spacebar flash colon. Now using the mouse, highlight the name of the file you wish to remove. Once highlighted, right click and the file name will be copied next to the colon we typed. Now press enter. You will be asked if you want to delete the file. Press Y for yes and then enter. Continue these steps for all files except the iOS. When you have successfully deleted the unwanted files, type boot and press enter. The system will reboot and will now be set back to the factory default setting with any previous saved configurations deleted from the switch. We hope you found this tech tip useful and informative. For more tech tips, please visit Zariba.com. Thank you.